short answer questions. See, look at this short answer questions. SAQ. Each four marks. After very short answer questions, we shift our attention to short answer questions. Short answer questions will be a bit lengthy because the marks are four. Each for each question, the given marks is four. For short answer questions, it is two marks. It is now four marks. Now let us work out some of the important uh, short answer questions with their uh, underlying concepts so that you learn the concepts easily. Let me first write the uh, question, recent uh, exam questions, we work out a few exam questions first, given in the exams. The trend you will understand. And then we go for new questions. That is what we take up. My very short answer questions. I worked out 20 short answer questions, very short answer questions. Now I am going to short answer questions. One. I will just take up the one first question, please. Uh, find the condition. Find the condition. For the tangents drawn from GF to the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 to be perpendicular. This is a recent exam question. I don't remember the year, but it's uh, either 2011 or 12. Read the question once. Find the condition for the tangents drawn from GF to the circle x square plus y. A rather trick they played. The point is GF. The GFs are used here so that you get a confusion. But it's a simple question. GF is outside. Let us uh, lo you look at the question so that uh, we'll have a clear solution for this. The solution for this is the answer or solution how to work out let us see now our short answer question one what he is telling is there is a point gf okay from here two tangents are drawn this angle is 90 degrees he is telling find the condition okay say short answer question for four marks i i just show you the diagram p a b c standard notation if the whole of this angle is 90 degrees, half of this angle is 45 degrees. Okay. Now, PA, the length of the tangent. Uh, let me show you. PA is root S11. So, putting your circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Putting the point gf in this is, we have g square plus f square plus 2g square plus 2f square plus c this is s11 and root s11 is nothing but root of 3g square plus 3f square plus c please look at this this is the length of pa okay this is the length of p i write it here so that you will have a comfortable this thing 3g square plus 3f square plus c because i want to find the condition for 90 degrees I have taken only 45 degrees. We did one question in very short answer questions on this model. So, it is easy for you to follow now. Please see. In this PAC triangle, it is 90 degrees anyhow. It is a right triangle. I will put tan 45. Tan 45 is opposite side AC by adjacent side PA. Tan 45 is opposite side AC and by adjacent side PA. Whereas PC is hypotenuse. Tan 45 is 1, AC, your AC is radius, it is G square plus F square minus C. So, let us put that only, G square plus F square minus C by under root 3G square plus 3F square plus C. This is the condition. If you cross multiply and square it, we have G square plus F square minus C is equal to 3G square plus 3F square plus C. Let me transfer this constants to one side. 2g square plus 2f square plus 2c is 0. That is the condition required is g square plus f square plus c is equal to 0. This is a very good question. Once again, please look at this question. What he is telling is 
please. He is telling the tangents, the angle between tangents is 90 degrees. So I have taken only half of that. I have taken the triangle. I, I made tan 45 as 1 and I got the condition very easily. It's a foremost question. So you should uh, write it uh, depending on that. Now let me go work out another question, second question. It's a, we, we, our plan is to work out some of the previous intermediate questions, intermediate exam questions, your exam questions, so that you will have an idea how they are asking the questions. Now, please write down, find the angle between, find the angle between tangents drawn from, find the angle between tangents drawn from 3 comma 2 to the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, read the question carefully. Find the angle between tangents drawn from 3 to, to the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 2 is equal to 0. It is like earlier question only. There is no doubt about it. We have the idea. This is the circle given. I don't put anything, say my P is here, my P A, these are free diagrams, so there may be some awkwardness, don't worry, and this is center, this is, again I did the same thing, I want this theta by 2, once I get theta by 2, I will find theta, I can have anything anyway, now the center of the circle is 3 comma minus 2, the point given is 3, 2. I look at this carefully. I, I just go with the radius is first AC is AC is the radius under root 9 plus 4 plus 2. So AC is 13 root 15. Right. This is a good thing. Root 15. Now, PC is by distance formula 3 minus 3, 0 whole square under root. This is you can see here, please. I, I just uh, leave the question because you have already noted it. I write our quote here. PC is the distance formula under root 3 minus 3, 0. Leave it 2 plus 2 whole square. It's 4. This is 4. Now, now look at the figure carefully. This is all what all I have done. Now sin theta by 2 is equal to opposite side root 15 by hypotenuse. But I do not want theta by 2. I want theta. Some expression for sin theta, tan theta or whatever it may be, I want theta. I have found only half angle. So let me go with the other this thing, other working or how we can do it. Sin theta by 2 I have. Now, I must get theta from this. Let us have some formula to get into theta. This is my sin theta by 2. So, if I take cos theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2. Look at this formula. Cos theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2. So, cos theta is equal to 1 minus 2 into sin square theta by 15 by 16. So, cos theta is equal to 1 minus 15 by 8 minus 7 by 8 theta is equal to cos inverse minus 7 by 8 a very tricky thing is cos inverse minus x is pi minus cos inverse x this is the angle this is the angle you should know there are a few things you should keep in mind while working this problem we don't have expression for full angle that can be done but there is a different way we have a expression for half angle and from half angle I got theta and after that I calculated here minus 7 by 8 this is one more caution you lose marks if you don't write pi minus cos inverse 7 by 8 because it's an acute angle and now we have the working as it is this is your second question second short answer question let us go to third short answer question each short answer question carries four marks and uh, it is your duty to present it clearly and see the solutions we are giving. Here our team how we are giving you the solutions. You work out your solutions on those lines. 
because out of experience we know how to write these questions. Now what he is telling is find the length of the chord, third question, find the length of the chord 